Hello, and thank you for watching this video. Today, we're going to talk about why telling children no is completely counterproductive in setting you up for power struggles. My name is Bonnie Leota. My husband and I are authors of Learn to Speak Kid, as well as Raising Healthy, Happy, Cooperative Kids. And uh, before I get to uh, tell you the story that is going to bring it all together and have you shaking your head every time you go to ch tell your child no, I want to share a little bit about why we're here because um, I think that you can relate with me on this is that when we were children, we got yelled at a lot, right? We were always told no or put in timeouts. I think my parents used to stand me in the corner thinking that that was going to teach me life skills. And so when I discovered Creating Champions for Life, Thomas and I left the country and it took about a year, year and a half to get our green card to come back to Canada. So I didn't see my family for a really long time. And when we got back to Canada, my birth grandbaby, Michael, was about a year and a half old and he had found his outside voice. What I mean is that baby scream at the top pitch voice that you just want to stop, right? So he had found his outside voice and he was walking around sharing it. Ah, ah, ah. And everybody was trying to tell him, no, we don't do that. Michael, shh, stop it. Quiet. Like they tried everything under the sun. They even tried timing him out and like, nope, no, nope, don't yell. They were telling him all these things that he couldn't do, don't do. Now, children, if you do a little study in history at all, Dr. John Locke from the 17th century figured out that all children are born with blank slates, meaning no thought patterns. They don't know manners. They don't know how to open a door for older people. They don't know how to sit in a chair. They don't know how to hold a fork, talk, walk, or anything, right? Children need to be taught every single thing. So when he finds his outside voice, and it's something that is really important to him, he just wanted to be recognized for it. But the problem was, is that my family had really no idea what Thomas and I were up to with creating Champions for Life. They never really chose to engage and when you try to share advice with somebody unsolicited well you know what happens they always say yeah yeah thanks and don't believe that it's going to work because we've been taught redirection we've been taught discipline we've been taught timeouts we've been taught that all children are born defiant and they need some sort of punishment or negative experience in order to learn but Dr. John Locke uh, proved that wrong way back in the 17th century. It's just that his information never really made it mainstream. And so I made an internal plan because when you are being yelled at a lot and told no for something that you think is really great, what happens to your self-esteem? And so we have an internal desire to raise our children's self-confidence, to make them feel good about themselves, and to have them growing up just this champion, outstanding little being. That's what we all want. In this case, we wanted him to start whispering instead of yelling. So I made a plan that I was going to guide his behavior versus punishing it by validating that he had found his outside voice and how awesome it was. And so when I had him all to myself one day, he did the scream and I did do the validation. And then I grabbed his little jacket and I said, oh, you like your outside voice. How amazing is that? When we want to scream like this, we're going to go outside to scream. So I shared with him where he could scream and empowered him that his outside voice was absolutely phenomenal. And so I put this little coat on and he's looking at me like, what is going on? Not saying a word. Take him outside. And I'm like, yes, you can scream out here all you like. Scream, scream, scream. Ah, and I started screaming at the top of my lungs. And he just stood there and looked at me. He didn't scream or anything. But when we went back inside, I'm like, inside. We use our inside voice. And I whispered at him and showed him exactly what he could do to please everybody around him. And you know what? Within 24 hours, he was walking around the house sharing his little whisper voice. So this is a short video today. It's Saturday. I want you to be able to go enjoy your day. But this is a life-changing 
short video. Because if we can learn to guide our child's behavior versus yelling at them, punishing them, timing them out, telling them no, and by showing them exactly what you want from them, I promise you, your children would love to please you. We are now coaching families. Actually, we have families studying our program in over 100 countries. We have some one-on-one -on -one clients and some coaching clients um, at a smaller level. But every single family who chooses to engage with us and learn how to guide their child's behavior versus telling them no all day long sees a 100% difference in the child's behavior. 100% of the time because it's not hype or hope. It is principles. When you focus on what's important to the child, the child's goal, and then you create a parent approved plan to achieve the goal. And then you teach that child by showing them exactly what you want from them and then encouraging them through persistence so that you can praise. Oh, Michael, you found your inside voice. We whisper inside the house. Hope that makes a difference in your life. Enjoy your Saturday and we'll see you back here live on Monday. Bye everybody.